All right, now what we're going to be doing is square root questions. These can look intimidating. The question is, what is the smallest integer greater than eight, square root of 85? You're like, bah! So what we wanna do is we wanna look at our answers and just square them. So five squared, again, use your calculator. You can use your calculator on it. Five times, uh, five squared is 25. And what we're doing is, what is the smallest integer greater than 85? So we got to get it bigger than 85. Um, so 9 times 2, or 9 squared, is 81. Okay, so that neither of these work, right? Those are two wrong. Then 10 squared is what? 100, right? Okay, so what is the smallest integer? We're going from smallest to largest. What is the smallest integer greater than 85? 25 doesn't work, 81 doesn't work, so it'd have to be C on this one. Okay, so your answer is C. Okay, so now let's go down to number 12. This, well, this is, what I did was I took square root questions from different tests. So the first one was from number 15 question, and this one was 12 question. All right, so what is the smallest integer greater than square root of 61? So again, it's the same thing. So four squared, is 16. 7 squared is 49. We're still not up there, are we? 8 squared is 64. Okay, what is the smallest integer greater than 61? Cross out that, cross out G, and it would be H. The answer would be H. Okay, so now this is a little different. Which of the following integers is closest to square root of 50? What is closest to square root of 50? Um, let's start with five. Five squared is 25, that's not high enough. Six squared is 36, that's not high enough. Seven squared is 49, Oop, 49. Okay, so that's pretty close to square root 50, right? So it would be like 7.1 or something, divide by two, okay? So what is seven divided by two, but it's a little more than, so we've got 7.1 divided by two is gonna be 3.55, all right? So we don't see a decimal here. So would 3.55 be closer to three or to four? Remember, if it's five or above, we want to round up. So we're going to go G for four. Okay, so the answer is four for this case. Okay, then now here's a different kind of question, but it's basically the same thing. It's just going the opposite way. It seems intimidating, but if you know to recognize it on the test, you'll be able to answer it. The square root of a certain number is approximately 9.2371. The certain number is between what two integers? Okay, so the square root of a certain number. So it's gonna be the opposite. So nine, two, three, seven, one is gonna be our answer equal to square root of something there. All right, so let's figure that out. Let's go, so 9.2, 9.2 times 9.2 is 8464. So we can do this 85, right? square root of 85. So now, what two numbers is it between? Is it three and four? No. Four and five? No. Nine and 10? No. 18, 19? No. 81 and 99? That would be the answer. So that one would be K, okay? So that is it for square root questions. Now, let's go ahead and do the slope. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use, we're gonna put it in this formula. We're gonna put the y to one side and the slope is gonna be connected to the x plus the b. So in this case, we've got three x plus y, eight y equals five. So our job is to get the y on one side by itself, right? So we're gonna use our equations um, information or rules and we're going to get this 3x on the other side, so we're gonna go minus 3x. Okay, so now we got 8y equals negative 3x plus five. Okay, you see how we did that? Now, what we gotta do 
is we gotta get y by itself. So what do we do? We do the rules, remember? If a number is connected to a letter, divide by that number and keep the sign the same. So we're gonna divide by eight, divide by eight, and divide by eight. So now y equals negative three over eight x plus five eighths. So it says, what is the slope of the line? Okay, so what is the slope? Remember, the slope is already always connected to the x, so it's gonna be the negative three eighths. So that would be g. Okay, now we're gonna do that same thing. We're gonna write it out, four x plus seven y equals nine. Turn off the turn off the video and see if you can do this on your own. What we're gonna do is try to get y by itself. So we're gonna go negative four x minus four x, right? So we got seven y equals negative four x plus nine. Now we gotta divide by seven, divide by seven, divide by seven. Y equals negative four sevenths X plus nine over seven. What is connected to the X is the slope. What is the slope of the line? It's negative four over seven. So it'd be A in this case, okay? So that's square root and slope.